This is the Evening Buzz, presented by Mikhail Atia. So one of the most recent trends I've seen in the entertainment industry is Hollywood basically betting on video games becoming the next wave adaptation, wave of adaptations um, for their streaming services, for all of their, you know, entertainment platforms. We've seen a lot of video game adaptations. It's kind of been there for decades, but I'd say that since the streaming age, uh, since the streaming boom after COVID or during COVID, you could say, you've, you started to see a huge interest from a lot of um, production studios and production houses uh, looking to re adapt video games into live action shows, into animated series. And to be honest, a lot of them are big fumbles. But we have seen recently uh, an improvement. There has been a few adaptations out there that really prove and, and show that if, if you do it right and if you bring the right team, the right, uh, you know, right group of writers who understand and have a fondness for the respective game you're adapting, you can make some great stuff. Uh, big examples, Castlevania, the animated series on Netflix, uh, The Last of Us live action series on HBO Max, and a few more that I probably don't remember. But one big contender in this industry is Sony. And while they've been doubling down on a few adaptations on some of their most iconic franchises, God of War live action series going to be developed by Amazon Prime. And back in 2022, Netflix and Sony announced a series adaptation of, the, of their iconic title, um, exclusive title, Horizon Zero Dawn, with Steve Backman, who was known for uh, being the showrunner for the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. However, two years in now, apparently following allegations of workplace misconduct against Backman, the future of Hori the Horizon adaptation at Netflix is now uncertain. So much so that it might just can be it might just be entirely dropped. Now, Rolling Stone, who was the one that reported on this, um, this alleged misconduct indicates that both Horizon and Backman's uh, other upcoming sci-fi series Orbital are no longer moving forward. It remains unclear that if these projects will continue without Backman or if they'll have been entirely canceled. But I say, especially when you're so deep into a, a production and the stakes are, you know, a lot of investment has been put into it, maybe they could replace the showrunner. I'm not entirely sure. But then what would happen is that because it is the vision of a singular showrunner and it's already been in years in development, it's very hard to go back from scratch and start again. And it costs a lot of money. So usually at this point in a development, production houses would cut their losses. Now, not sure if Netflix will do anything about this at the moment, but they have said that they are no longer moving with Beckman's adaptation of Horizon. This probably won't stop Sony from taking that uh, that IP and you know putting it out there for another new bidding uh, with other production houses. Um, and a representative for Beckman has responded to these claims stating that he has a long-standing and ongoing relationship with Netflix and continues will continue to work on new projects. They also mentioned that Backman and Netflix has signed a multi-year deal earlier this year. Ooh, so I guess if the Horizon Zero Dawn adaptation uh, doesn't come to pass, there's still a few things that need to be done. Despite this, it's still uncertain whether Netflix will maintain its relationship with Backman after reports of some of the behavior that he has committed during his time as sh the showrunner on the Umbrella Academy, as apparently there's a few acqui ac acquisitions against him made anonymously due to the fear of professional backlash. Um, and uh, yeah, given that Sony still owns the Horizon Zero franchise, uh, they could potentially move the series adaptation to another streaming platform if Netflix decided to pass on it. I'll be honest, of all of the adaptations that Sony is looking to make, Horizon Zero Dawn is the one that I'm not the most excited for. You see, the problem when you make these games, uh, the Sony's games, 
they're 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 already known to be produced at a, such a high production level, and so they're very cinematic in their own right. I just don't see why you have to reiterate on something that are already does uh, that the game already does phenomenally on. The one that I am excited for is God of War because of maybe the approach they can go for, but I am worried about some of the more creative changes or decisions that are made for that for that adaptation. But uh, I'll be honest, if it if Horizon Zero Dawn live action series does end up getting canceled and it doesn't move forward, I'll be honest, I won't be crying about it. Uh, it's 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 not something I'm I'm all that thrilled about. Um, and I'm sure many others are uh, feel the same way. I know there are fans out there who love this franchise, and I can I can respect that. But it, it definitely does it warrant an adaptation? Who knows? And if this doesn't go forward, it's it, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. I'll put it that way. And with that, we're gonna take a short break. We still got more news to cover from the world of entertainment, so be sure to stay tuned and locked right here to the Evening Buzz. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.